Do you even know what a smoothie is? Yeah, I'm Egyptian. I'm dumb. I don't know what smoothie is. You're a Anything else? Well, we still have $148 left on this gift card. Wow, that's a lot of veggie dogs. I wonder why he doesn't have me. delicious smoothies. This is one of my all-time favorites when I was a kid. It's probably the best smoothies in the city, in the area. It's so good. It's like perfectly sweetened, perfect amount of each ingredient. It's like the magical, perfect smoothie. I swear nobody sells a better smoothie. I would like to get, what is this flavor? Okay, strawberry bananas are classic. After trying this strawberry peach banana smoothie, I'd say it's like the same as it was when I was a kid. However, my taste buds have changed now that I've been having such good food and drinks all over the world. This doesn't really compare to the best of the best. I would consider it's like a three or three and a half star place. It's like average. However, it's still above average compared to every smoothie place on the market. If you do get something here, I highly recommend getting a real fruit smoothie. The other drinks are made with high fructose corn syrup, and it's not as fresh and natural as the real fruit smoothie section. So if you're in town, stop by and check it out. Where's my drink? You went to the food court to get water, and then I saw this place, so I thought I'd get a smoothie. Do you want one? Well, I didn't think you'd want a smoothie. Why did you think? Because smoothie is kind of unusual. I love smoothie. This is my favorite shit. Really? Yeah. yeah. I've never seen you drink a smoothie. Do you even know what a smoothie is? Yeah, I'm Egyptian. I'm <laughs> dumb. I don't know what smoothie is. <laughs> do <you> they <laughs> I want you to buy me a whole brand new one. I don't get you whole Okay, thing. come on. We're going to get Eddie a smoothie. You know what I need? I need a backpack where I can just like carry like that and put some stuff in it. This backpack is $20 and it's insulated. Yeah, so you so put your electronics in it. Yeah, it's all insulated. You can so put like cold stuff or hot stuff. You can put cold packs and it's food hotter. I want, a, I want one. Yeah, I'll get you one. It's okay. Thank you. How did you not know what the price was? I hate their attitudes, man. <laughs> Starbucks people, they yeah. just think they're the only people who make coffee in the world. Everybody at Starbucks is like, oh, I work at Starbucks. Yeah, we're filming for YouTube. Guys, follow me. my friend Kennedy. Check us out on YouTube. We're hashtag gold pyramids, one word. Mostly food and travel lifestyle vlogs. Okay, that's cool. brown rice or quinoa. You will get to go down the menu. You can either pick green pea for your patty, black pea, cashew quinoa, and red lentil. I created the menu after being vegan for 15 years and traveling the world. So I've done my research and I like a lot of flavors. So I cool, we're so happy you guys yeah. are cool. Worth welcome. Yeah. We appreciate you guys. Yeah. This is Sharon, she's from LA. She's used to every, there being a vegan stop on every corner. We also have our vegan nachos, it's delicious. It comes with all of these vegetables on there and it also comes with the cheese. The vegan cheese is gonna be cashew based, so it's not like your traditional cheese. I'll do all the veggies and the chili. You recommend the chorizo, it's what I would do. This is good, it's the turmeric iced tea. Strawberry lemonade. <laughs> so, Sharon, what's 
Sharon, what did you think of the new restaurant we found? How does the quality of food compare with the price? I feel like the prices are a little... These are like Beverly Hills vegan restaurant, nice on La Cienega Boulevard prices. It's not comparable, like it's it's good vegan food. Well, we tried the mac and cheese. It's pretty good, but the price is like overpriced. If you're from Fort Worth and you know you don't have many options, I'd say this place is okay, it's good. But compared to all the best stuff in like Beverly Hills, LA, we've had a lot of vegan and vegetarian restaurant food. I'd say it's kind of average, like a three and a half out of five. It's a good place, but it just can't compare to like the best stuff in LA. But I think in Fort Worth, it's definitely the best I don't know restaurants about in the Dallas. Best. We, that other place we went by Urban Outfitters, that salad that I had, it was bomb. And it was only like eight dollars. I'd say Spiral Diner has been around longer and it's better, but I think in this side of Fort Worth, on the north side, for something in this area, it's the best. But just, it can't compete with the whole city. Yeah, Spiral Diner is like way better. How are the prices there? I think the prices are comparable to here. I think it's even a dollar or two more per meal, but it's, it's more of a better value because of the better quality and it's better tasting. This is very like homemade yeah, vegan food, which we make at home all the time. So it's like, to yeah. us it's overpriced because this is like the type of food we're eating at home. Like very like basic homemade.